tremendous. Guys, just have a look behind us. Have a look at this view and just imagine enjoying a fresh mango shake, fresh uh, watermelon shake, a delicious a fillet and a fresh garden salad on the beach, um, enjoying the magnificent sweeping views of Crystal Bay, Bay Koi Samoy. Um, that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. So come along on our uh, amazing adventure as always. I'll have a little drink and let's go and learn all of our amazing Sunday brunch experience at Rock Salt in between Lamai and Chuang. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Guys, can you, can you hear the gentle uh, melodic ambiance in the background? They have a, a live uh, acoustic band playing here. A lady sing, singing in the distance. I must say the, the vibe and the energy, the, 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 the ambiance is really something to, to check out. Uh, we've just gotten back from finishing our uh, fresh cocktails on the beach and uh, <clears throat> we've arrived at, the, at our table now. And uh, you know, I heard about the amazing uh, steaks and fillets that uh, Rock Rock Salt uh, specializes in, um, and I, I came here with the idea that I'm going to be having a, a, a fillet today. But Lalita just showed me this menu, and uh, wow! So let's uh, let's let's go through it. You know, as as with as we always do with our with our adventures, as we do with all our journeys, let's uh, let's go through it together with with you. So Lalita, which what do you? I mean, what 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 looks amazing to you here? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try and read this. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start off with um, rock salt, beef hash, and eggs. Now, guys, just listen to how amazing this sounds. It is wagyu beef. Now, I have never had this luxurious beef before. I only found out quite recently that wagyu beef is the type of beef that is, uh, you know, the cow is fed actual beer and massage you know it's a, it's, a, it's a luxury kind of cow to start with and um, the, the cow it, it experiences no stress in its life and because of this stress-free lifestyle the meat apparently just tastes amazing it's like bursting with flavor so listen to Wagyu beef is um, it's cured in-house for 15 days uh, it comes with a potato rosti uh, served with spring onion and red cabbage and it comes with two uh, poached eggs and uh, holidays uh, lashings and, and of course here all of the sauces are, are homemade so let's start off with that yeah. what uh, what more should we what more should we check out okay what okay okay so the next is fresh burrata now listen how amazing this sounds whole soft mozzarella okay mango tomato Radicchio, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, baby Thai basil vinegar vinaigrette, uh, wild honey pistachio. Baby, that's a good call. That sounds amazing. And what else? What what next? Sashimi. Okay. Wow. So Rock Salt actually has an entire sash sashimi section. So listen to this, guys. Sashimi taquitos. <laughs> Taqui. Taqui. How do you pronounce it? Taquitos. <laughs> It, 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 it's, it's either taquitos or taquitos. Forgive me, I'm not sure exactly. Mosquito. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like mosquito. So listen to how delicious this sounds. Spicy tuna avocado tartar. Okay. Salmon wasabi. Uh, Hokkaido scallops. Uh, nashi and yuzi sibishi. Okay, that I know I pronounced wrong. I'm so sorry. I don't know what these things are, but it just sounds fantastic. Yeah. Hey, baby, you reckon that's that's enough or? Go on, one more thing. Or oh, dessert. Yeah. Dra dragon's eggs. Listen to this. Okay. Uh, passion fruit, uh, cream, anglias. I don't know what it's saying, but it sounds good. It just sounds so great. Uh, drang dragon fruit, which I know is is unique to Asia. We've covered that in an, in another video before. So dragon fruit granita, sounding so fresh. Uh, jackfruit and ice cream uh, and caramel. What is that? Caramel cage. 
I mean, just reading the menu here is a journey and an experience within itself. So, do you want anything else? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, I think that's, that's enough. Yeah. So, let's uh, wait for this uh, small mountain range of food to arrive and uh, let's check it out. Okay. Now the music has really started to get going, so we thought uh, let's move a little bit more closer to uh, feel the, the ambiance and really get involved in the terrific Sunday experience here. Um, so while we're waiting for our food, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, Khoi Samoy. No, not, not Khoi Samoy, it's Kho Samoy. Oh, Kho Samoy. Yeah. I've actually been pr pronouncing it incorrectly all this time. Kho Samoy. Yeah, so I want to tell you a little bit about Kho Samoy. <laughs> um, here you'll find that there is so many things and so much to do on the island. Um, and you'll also find that each day is uh, pretty much well known for certain things. For example, uh, Wednesday and Friday is very well known for free barbecue at Ark Bar. Um, Friday night is uh, very well known for walking street in Fisherman's Village um, and uh, Wednesday evening sunset times is very well known for um, a lot of the, the, the resorts if, they have a, if they're on the beach they have a, a sunset barbecue and of course for, for, for Sunday brunches um, it, it is so well known um, especially amongst uh, the locals that uh, the place to be uh, from uh, one o'clock onwards on a Sunday is, is rock salt for this wonderful experience and oh our food has just started to arrive guys check this out yeah okay just put it there okay okay just look at this presentation wow I guarantee you she will not know, know the name. What what is this? <laughs> and uh, but but have a look at this. This is the the sashimi. Um, it's like it's a quidos. Three three different types of uh, sashimi. Uh, fresh, uh, enormous in size. You know they really provide handsome servings here. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Then, then this is obviously the um, that luxury beef. That I, that I was talking about earlier, Waigu, Waigu uh, yeah. beef with the, with the lovely fresh uh, fillet, uh, fre fresh, fresh poached eggs at the top. Check that out, have a look at how wonderful this is presented. And Check then... And then... Mm. Mm. <laughs> I hope we can show you this. Yes. Um, Mango, I know. Yeah, this is the... Okay, let's actually lift up the camera. Check out this. Wow, incredible, delicious, fresh, wholesome. And then let's uh, let's move on to the last. That that what, what, is, what is the name of this? Mian Kam. Mian Kam. Yeah, from uh, Thailand, you know. From where? Nerd, nerd, oh, Thailand. North, North yeah, of Thailand. North Thailand. <laughs> okay, so here. Oh, and then we have some juices. Let's check yeah. out those those fresh juices. Check those out. Nice. You know the the one thing that uh, I've heard so much about rock salt is the presentation. And now that our, our food has arrived, it just corroborates that 100,000%. They really, just, just have a look at the, the, uh, the apples, how, they, how they've cut the apples at the top there. I've never seen that. Try, try, try turn it around a little bit. Look at that, turn, turn it a little bit more so they can actually see the apples. This is, that, that's the apple, that is an apple. I tried. There we go. <laughs> Check it out, massive attention to detail. And, and uh, this is the ginger and uh, fresh carrot juice. So we are going to check out if um, we're going to see how amazing the experience is here as far as the taste is uh, and uh, then we'll, we'll check in with you a little bit later on. Okay, bye. Okay, so I know that we said that we were about to enjoy our amazing meal but uh, we have to share this with you. Our smoked salmon has just arrived. Uh, show us how, how does this have a look. Yes, can I see? Wow. Like a magic show. Oh, yeah. A whole lot of uh, uh, smoke and a whole, whole, whole lot of steam uh, just actually uh, emanated out of the, the, the dish itself. Again, just another experience showing you how much attention to detail they actually put into uh, the presentation and the actual experiencing how, how each thing here is an experience within its own. So we just want to show you the, the, the little salmon. Check this out. Look at that. Look at this. 
and the bread. Okay, guys, now we really are going to enjoy our food. Uh, we will catch in with you when we're done. Uh, see you later. Okay. Lolita is about to try her first ever salmon taquito or taquito. Still not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, let's check it out. Have a clear day. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And that, how is that? Wild. Wild. Okay, now I am trying out the rock salt uh, hash and eggs and uh, the combination of the, you know, slowly matured uh, Wagyu beef with the soft poached eggs is honestly a Tremendous! <laughs> so now I'm gonna try out the uh, uh, sashimi uh, taquito, taquito and uh, Lalit's just put a little bit of ginger at the top and it seems like it's wrapped in a tor tortilla. What is this thing? Tor you guys know the name. And it's, it's wrapped in that and uh, it's full. It's actually bursting with uh, sashimi inside and topped with fresh caviar. So let's try that out. Mmm. <laughs> wow, it's so. Hello, mm. Hello, it's so fresh. Cheers, babe. Cheers. <laughs> so, imagine this. You're sitting three meters from the beach. Not not just any beach. One of the most beautiful beaches in the whole of Ka Samoy, Crystal Bay. Uh, I'm here with my amazing Thai family. Of course, you'll be here with your amazing, uh, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, listening to this amazing music, feeling the gentle ocean breeze on your face, enjoying not just any kind of juice, but fresh vegetable juices that are from their very own garden. Gotta try it out, guys. Amazing. Lalita is gonna try the smoked salmon. Uh, but the thing about the smoked salmon, it is the furthest thing from just your ordinary smoked salmon. You see, um, traditionally a restaurant might uh, just purchase smoked salmon from some place and then just sell it to you. At Rock Salt, they do everything in-house, they do everything their, their own. So this is Tasmanian salmon that uh, is uh, basked in uh, salt, uh, uh, sugar and uh, a hint of dill for between three and five days and um, and then served in this wonderfully presented uh, uh, way so let's let's check it out let's see how let's it go for it how oh, you can eat this <laughs> <laughs> so you want to you want to you want to take that yeah and you want to add a bit of this take that and add it? some of that onto the toast yeah and then add the salmon and add the a bit of lemon, right? When you eat salmon, yeah. fresh salmon, you always got to eat lemon, right? Now she's just spent the last uh, one and a half minutes making her little salmon sandwich. <laughs> so that's the final outcome. It is a delicious, um, fresh piece of toast. Um, the salmon wraps around, the, the, the fresh piece of toast wraps around the salmon. And uh, now she's gonna punish it. Okay guys, so now things are starting to get real. And uh, by real, I mean uh, real exciting. Uh, if you can just uh, tilt it, just a uh, nick noise. Okay, now Lelit is gonna go on to the, uh, let me read this to you. This is, the, this is the, the tongue twister from earlier. This is the fresh baruta, okay? Which is um, whole soft mozzarella. You can see it in the, in the middle. And check this out. Wait, check this. Look at that. Look how just volcanoes out of there. Okay. <laughs> Served with mango, tomato, yeah. uh, baby Thai basil vinaigrette, and wild honey pistachio. Now, just keep in mind that half of these ingredients are actually grown right over here in their very own garden. I am gonna. May, may you please hold that for me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna be eating the um, snapper fish tacos tortilla. Tortilla. You can see <laughs> my reading, my reading is so good. Um, so this is grilled snapper fish, um, uh, sour sour mango slaw, yeah. 
and house hot sauce. So th this comes with the sauce. This is the sauce that, th that we heard about earlier. Their, their, their world famous house hot sauce. So this sauce that comes with this is made right here. Okay, so why this was so exciting was because um, I get to finally eat with my hands. You know, the traditional hands-on connect with the food type of eating style. You know, so there you can see the red, the, the, the snapper fish is wrapped inside. And uh, let's let's see how this tastes. Whoa. Oh my god. Tremendous. Look at this. Bursting with flavor. Now check what's happening on the Lita side. This is just pure mozzarella like cheese. A, yeah, like a, fresh mango. And let's see how that tastes. Try that out, babe. <laughs> but be 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 serious, huh? How does that taste? <laughs> Trainers. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, let me try also. It's milk. It's like milk. Mm. It's like actual milk and sour. Yeah. Okay, let's try. So I'm quite excited to see what the combination on the mozzarella, the mango, and uh, the onion. Yeah. Honestly, I've never, I've never tasted something like this before. Yeah. This is the type of dish you'll expect to eat on board a yacht, um, you know, sailing through Phuket while uh, gentle jazz is playing in the, in, the, in the background. And what's so fun about eating the fresh burrata is that you get to build your little own servings like Lalita has just done this for me. Let's, let's have a look there. <laughs> Check that out. So, you know, so you build it, you take the, the mango, you take the tomato, you take the, the leaves, and you build a little, uh, a little, a little gift, you know. Let me get my hand. <laughs> it's a combination of the the cheese, the mango, the sweet sauce, mind blowing. In fact, you know it'll be amazing. Yeah. It's actually try and meet the chef. Try and meet the chef afterwards. Guys, we've just gotten to the the last stretch of this fantastic meal um, mains is almost done and little elites wants to to tell us a little bit about a traditional meal that is actually from her um, direct part of the, the the direct part of Thailand where she actually comes from so Lalits what is the name of this uh, dish Mian Kam did you guys get that Mian Kam yeah Mian Kam yeah Mian Kam and uh, tell us a little bit about it. I mean, how do you eat it? What is it actually? Uh, actually, they have um, I don't know the name. Not oh, <laughs> from <laughs> North Thailand. Really, really. First time, first time I'm trying. Really, so, yeah. really enjoy the conversation. <laughs> so it seems to be presented in some other kind of fresh leaf. Yeah. And then uh, what is what is the sauce? Uh, sweet sauce. Okay, so it's a sweet sauce, and then you yeah. put the sauce inside the the leaf. Yeah. So you actually put it inside the middle yeah. of the of the serving, yeah. and, and then and then you close it up. Peanuts. Also. <laughs> yeah, so it comes it comes with peanuts. <laughs> yeah, and ginger, little and, bit, and a little bit of ginger, and lemon, <laughs> and lemon, and then you make like this. So you actually make a little hut. Yeah. Like this. Okay, and then once the hut is eaten, no, no. No, don't eat. Oh, no. Don't try. Okay, let's, let's try. Just try. Okay, let's, you don't let's, eat. let's try. How mm. you feel? <laughs> <laughs> it feels um, different. <laughs> yeah, it's a good experience. Okay, so we have just finished the magical experience of uh, the main course, <laughs> the many, many main courses. Uh, and now the leads. Just tells me now that, that Kenzo, uh, who's our uh, young 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 son inside her stomach, wants dessert. She doesn't tell me that she wants dessert. She says Kenzo wants dessert. <laughs> I um I, I I was baffled when I heard that she wanted to eat more. Okay, so we pulled up the menu again. Uh, babe, which one here? They, we we we've got some um, five options. Okay, they have chocolate and hazelnut, which is always a winner. They've got uh, dragon's edge, uh, <laughs> dragon's edge, dragon's eggs. Uh, 
that, that let, 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 let's choose that. Can I choose the dessert, please? Yeah, of course. Okay, so we're gonna go with that because I have never heard of that, and I've always found uh, dragons to be extremely mystical. Uh, so after, other, other than that, they've got the, the mango and uh, lime crumble. They've got fresh seasoned fruits and um, Leonardo's ice cream and sorbets. Leonardo ice cream and sorbets. So they've got many, many different types of flavors. You just got to choose which one uh, you best, uh, you, which which, which uh, most, most tickles your fancy. Uh, which one you enjoy most. So okay, so let's check out the, the dragon's egg. Let's go check everything that they have to, to offer while we're waiting for our desserts. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Now we've just arrived at the kiddies section and uh, in, the, in the distance where little Lalit is pointing towards, you can see a ping pong table where perhaps you and your, your son might enjoy a, a game of uh, uh, ping pong before your, your meal or uh, maybe after your swim. Then if you move slightly to the right hand side you can see just how geared towards kids um, rock salt is and uh, you see that they've got a double volume uh, swinging section. <laughs> then if you uh, wander a little bit more towards the right hand side you can see right in the distance there double volume tanning decks where an entire family, we checked it out now, an entire family can actually just lie, um, giggle, laugh, enjoy the sun, enjoy the music and of course enjoy the, the, the view of Crystal Bay while um, you know deciding uh, what, what, they, what they might want to be eating uh, around lunchtime. So all the while I'm busy thinking that um, this section on my left hand side is a, a wonderful massage section. Uh, you know, imagine just uh, enjoying a, a massage while uh, looking into the, the never-ending uh, distance of Crystal Bay. But then Lalitza set me straight and she said, no, 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 that's actually a, a, just a, a tanning section, a, a general tanning <laughs> section. And in fact, this is the massage section. So now we have arrived at the official uh, massage section where you can get anything from a, a daytime coconut massage. Or if you like, maybe end off the day um, you know, after a little bit of a sunburn, a sunburning session uh, with, a, with a wonderful aloe vera massage. So, yeah, I, I don't know about you, but I think uh, let's go and try the, the dessert. Okay. And uh, let's try to get that meeting with the, the champion chef, David Lloyd. Let's go. The dessert has just arrived. Mind is totally blown again. Uh, as with everything at Rock Salt, it's not just normal. They 100% uh, uh, do not abide by normalities at all. Just have a look at this dessert. Um, apparently, there's there's a, there's a special way in which we need to eat the dessert, and that is you have to hit it. Right? What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I don't think he's supposed to hit yeah. it that hard. And then sugar. and then the, the sugar that you actually break it in, <laughs> <laughs> and then you actually wow. so, so check that out. Have a look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll lift up the camera, that's better, then you can see yeah. perfectly. I Try see. and uh, open it, open it a bit. Open it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's amazing. Now that I understand the <laughs> what's actually going on here a little bit better, I have to make another we have to make another video. So this is actually served <laughs> in an actual jackfruit. <laughs> I didn't see this before. So they'll hollow out the jackfruit and then um you know they put the passion fruit inside. They put uh, the ice cream, the you know, the, the, the ice cream is inside. Everything is inside, Sugar. and then the, the the caramel cage comes on top. This is really, you know, even if you don't enjoy jackfruit, caramel, or ice cream, the uh, experience of eating this is really a memory within itself. Thank you so much for joining us on this phenomenal journey. You uh, experienced the magical food experience with us. You uh, enjoyed the incredible um, dragon fruit dessert experience. Uh, you know, we were fortunate enough to be able to check out all the activities available uh, here at uh, Rock Salt for the kids. Uh, and obviously, if you enjoy a good massage. Now, we have been lucky enough to meet the master chef and owner, David Lloyd himself. David, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure, man. Thank you Thanks so much. For coming down. Yeah, thank you so much for uh, sending aside 
um, some time for me to ask you a couple of questions. Um, and thank you for making uh, you know this all possible. I really must say that uh, above everything else, the thing that stands out the most for me is uh, the way everything is presented. Um, the the final meal, the dragon, you know, the dragon, 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 dragon dessert. Yeah. How do you actually make that? Um, okay, so the origin of the dessert was um, based on um, a French dessert, which is floating islands. Okay, floating islands is one of my favourites. So it's a, a chilled custard, creme okay. anglaise. Okay, and then you, it, it's very, uh, it utilises eggs perfectly. So you make a meringue with the whites. Okay, a custard with the yolks. Okay, meringue custard. Yeah, awesome. And then you make a caramel with okay. some sugar. Okay, so it's using very like classically French cuisine. They like to use everything, you know. Amazing. So. I love that dessert and I wanted to make a tropical version of that okay. dessert. So dragon fruits. I'm not a big fan of dragon fruits, I've okay. got to say. I know they're good for you and everything and they look beautiful. Okay. But you get that white and black and white sure. fruit and it's sure. a bit tasteless, right? Sure. So we sort of ramped up the flavour by making a granita okay. with uh, a lime leaf and lemongrass syrup. Okay. So we homemade that, with, <laughs> we infused that into the sugar. Okay. And then basically we put, put the fruit together with the syrup. Wow. Scrape it with a fork every half an hour for a few hours. Sc scrape it with a fork every half so, an hour. So you're putting it in the freezer. Do you see the attention? It solidifies. Do you see what I'm talking about? The attention to detail at rock salt. You can't compare it very easily to anywhere else. You scrape it with a fork every 30 minutes. For any of our viewers that uh, are considering coming and enjoying this amazing Sunday brunch experience at, at Rock, Rock Salt, I just want to ask you, and this is totally in line with the experience that I and Alita, myself and Alita experienced today, what are your three main objectives as a restaurant here? You know, what, what is your ethos in three simple points? What are the three Okay. driving main driving forces behind everything you do i would say to exceed people's expectations we treat our staff like family um, staff like family awesome. absolutely they've awesome. been with when it comes to customers i don't want my kids eating rubbish right? yes of course so and obviously you can see there's a lot of families here yeah um so we make sure that everything that goes into the dishes we feed to our own children you know? i like that a lot i mean okay. i will not allow palm oil in the kitchen um, I try to ban the use of refined sugar wherever possible. And then, at the end of the day, um, the presentation and the experience has to be right for you know, every single time. You've got to be passionate about what you do. Sure. And I think um, if you haven't got that, if you haven't got that personal involvement and passion, then the customers will know. 100%. Well, look, your, your, your passion no doubt shines through in every single meal that we uh, experience today thanks and uh, just before we end off i just want to ask you this what, what is this called uh, it's a mango and mint lassi a mango and mint lassi this is why i love the life that we lead because every day i am learning and finding out something new and magical guys thank you so much for your time as always thank you for setting aside the time to watch our video again uh, thank you for all the interaction the likes the commenting please uh, subscribe please uh, comment below uh, otherwise from uh, the champion David Lloyd and myself and the uh, little elites who's been uh, <laughs> here the whole time thank you have an amazing day and we will see you in our next video bye bye